In this video, I'm going to take you through the modifications I've been making to my van racking. So I've been grabbing an hour here and there in the evenings over the past sort of couple of months and been really trying to get this done. Um, I'm finally at a stage with my installation equipment where I'm happy with all the tools that I've got. And I've bought quite a few extra tools since I last made a um, adaption to my van racking. So it's time to give everything that I bought a home in the van. And that's really important because if it's got a place in the van, I'm great at putting it away. If I just grab a tool and put it on the bed, like the flat bed in the back of the van, it, and I end up in a right mess. Um, tools everywhere, stuff gets damaged. So um, yeah, important job for me to do. So this is how I went about it. So having a look in the back of the van, I'm just gonna try and make the most of this side of the van. So at the minute I've got the side door box, which I built to see sustainers. It actually suits the DeWalt toolboxes that I switched to as well so it works quite well it's not ideal that you can't open the drawers with them sat in there but it is working really well i've not got the time to change that at the minute started off in the workshop and grabbed all the tools that uh, hadn't got a home already in the van um brought them dragged them into the workshop so i could take the measurements of them then using the computer that i've got set up in the workshop i could uh, put them measurements into a sketchup take the measurements of the van and i could design the rack so that everything fitted and was going to work before i started the job because in the past i've started building racking and then you um you run out of space or it's potluck whether things are going to work so this time i went about it the right way around um, designed it so everything was going to fit before i started and it's dead easy to make because you just follow the plan that you've already drawn out Nice. Uh, who would do that? Look at that. So the rail's going to sit on there. So I'm a little rail box for a couple of rails to slide in on. go outside and screw this but it's lit down. Might cut a hole. This is going to be my rail slot but I've got another sheet of plywood just very thinly above this. Slide my rails in. What I'm going to do is just cut a little hole at the end of the slot for this rail so if any crap gets in there once you push the rail in should slide out and drop down at that end. This drill bit, while it was expensive, it just stays in the drill permanently. And you get perfect. I mean, plywood is renowned, especially this stuff with a thin face veneer. It's renowned for being hard to get it to have a nice consistent finish. It's just the perfect drill bit. Can't slip off each other. job.
pocket screws in there. Because on the tight kit I'm trying to extract the most from the sheet. I've cut it to the width of the two pieces added together. I've got to do a bit of a dog leg cut in order to get the shelves out of the one piece. Call it a night, I'm pretty tired. It's good progress for a couple of hours. Just as a little extra security, I've scribed this piece with a lip over there so that it'll sort of lodge it in the van. Give it a bit of extra strength. in the back of there looks beautiful. This for scale, a set of earmuffs. <laughs> Trying to do this in the evenings. A bit of spare time and seems to run out of daylight every day so. Added this backing board in because it's screwed around the perimeter on all three sides gives a lot of strength to both the shelf above and the shelf below and if I put one in every compartment so if I put another one in the back of there it doesn't give me enough depth to get my toolbox in so it works really well Oops, forgot about that bit. New stuff! Oh yeah! This little uh, 3 8 fuel ratchet is unbelievable. That is, that is un undoable with my half inch hand ratchet. I cannot undo it. Yeah, to film and do it. I 
Little finishing touch. I like to put carpets in any shelves because the feet of the toolboxes tend to settle into the carpet. There's a direction to the carpet, and if you set it so that the pile is set like this, any vibration in the van, the tools tend to move to the back and not fall out of the shelving. So I've not had anything move in this box, which is as high as this one, and then the same part of the van, so I can't see anything falling out short of rolling the van over. We go a bit of a tour. This is its working clothes because I just simply haven't got time to tar up my van for a video. This is how it turned out. Pretty good. Um, pretty good SketchUp model. It's perfect to be honest. But uh, yeah, I've gone to these Dewalt drawers. Probably seen the video if you've been watching the channel for any amount of time. Um, this is a new one. I've got a couple more tote boxes since I bought my first one. They're pretty good and I've decked them out as well with some uh, compartments and stuff and clamp racks. But yeah, I got a bit of a bonus hoover slot at the end. I mean, I didn't plan to have a hoover there. I planned to have um, sustainer storage up the side of the saw. Uh, dead easy to load them up. Chop saw at the back. I can take that on and off without getting in the van, which is quite handy. That was the, the idea was to be able to slide it in from the back. And the sort of return lip on here was thought about stop it falling out the van it can hit that lip it's never fallen out it's like literally it's perfect nothing has ever fallen out this rack uh, touch wood carpet does a really good job of stopping stuff sliding in and out um these always stay here probably the most used box because you always want oh just get a, a screw to fix that I've got every size screw in this box decked them out um, there's as many screws in here as I've got in the workshop, it's so handy. Sometimes I come to this box rather than one in the workshop because I know I keep on top of this one, make sure it's dead full all the time. So I just um, trim around the outsides of the little insert boxes with a bit of foam from an old tool insert that I'd got in the workshop, saved it a bit of recycling. I just glued them in around the outside and uh, that that is a brilliant bit of kit. So I've got 3.5, fours, uh, three mil, 4.5 and five in that one. A few washers, and I've got uh, a few little bits of fitting stuff here. And all my concrete screws and fixings, and some wall plugs in there, fixing brackets. So pretty much everything I use for fixing is in that toolbox, it's a bloody brilliant bit of kit. And again, it can be in a stack with your tools. And I hate screw boxes. We, you know, when you every time you move them, they, you think they're going to like fly open. So you end up sort of being double sure that the lid's caught on. With this, it's it's just perfect. It's never in the way, and you can get to everyone really easily. So, uh, really recommend that. If you don't buy any other sort of drawer style toolbox, this one is bloody brilliant. Then yeah, just got uh, sustainer storage in that little slot there. I uh, can put sort of any combination in the here, but I kept this shelf tall enough to get the tote boxes with the handle in the upright position, because that's how you carry them. You might as well put them straight in the rack in that position. And then the one on the end has got the ceiling gun sticking out, because they're, they're big. If you've got a full tube of ceiling in, which you always have, like or half full, so they always stick out, they're long bits of kit. So um, that one always goes in the end, so that it fits out there. And it tucks away nice and neatly, got the whole floor free to fill with anything you fit in. Got a set of them trestles that are featured in yesterday's video um, up here. And then I keep a second set underneath actually, so I've got two sets on the van, which is quite handy. So I never used to keep any. 
and if you wanted to a job where you needed some you would put some on the van but quite often you'd forget and uh, it's just nice to have them there and if you need a set of trestles they're on the van ready to go so it's perfect um got that level up there it just slots in like a little track i made as a bump stop at the end you can see that slides down there beautiful just enough room for them trestles in front and these are my laser poles so they connect together span floor to ceiling you've got like a, a mount for your laser level on in them we use them on pretty much every job i go to so if they wanted to be right at the back of the van where you can grab them straight out really easily um yeah that's about it really I think you think I showed the um, rail storage, but really easy access to my rail store there. You just slide them in, I've done that one-handed and can't get it back, but yeah, two rails in there, should I need them? And I just capped it all off with the softwood, because I hate seeing plywood edges. Um, I know it's only a van racking and it's not particularly pretty as it is, but it's just a bit nicer to have a um, bit of a finish to the edge that's a bit more hard wearing than plywood that's going to splinter over time and yeah the side door rack um, I've actually just about got enough room to store two boxes in each layer but what I tended to do was have three boxes poked in on the end but then if you wanted to quickly grab a tool you had to take the toolbox out of the van to open the drawer to get your tool out so i'm tending to stick them in like this now and just waste the space at the back of them so I've, they'll all be at the front like this on the norm and i can get to all the tools then as i need to get my hoover in this little slot but the side door rack is the best thing so it's much better than having your you know you're racking down the far side of your van and always climbing in the van to get to your tools this is this is bonnie this is really good when I originally built it, I fitted this vice on um, a couple of wing nuts. It's just years old now. It's gone a bit uh, bit loose. It needs a bit of a, a tighten up. It's had some abuse over the years. But yeah, you can slide that bit of plywood out. Tighten them wing nuts up. And there's a little vice that um, grips on there. It's just like clamps on. when you do the wing nuts up it's pretty good actually and it's just great you can get uh, a length of pipe or a length of beading or track and use your hacksaw on it um, and that was before the days of battery grinders really because anything like a door spindle or stuff like that really difficult to hold and hacksaw them off to length until i've fitted this but don't tend to use it as much anymore now that i've got battery grinders really accessible um, and the battery powered file, you know, that little belt sander thing. Um, yeah, you don't tend to be using hand files and, and hand saws so much as you once did.